Show me the receipts. Or should you? I'm Brian with Bulldog Delivers. Let's hit it. I just finished shopping an order for a regular customer here at Target in Pensacola, Florida, and I'm about to do the delivery. And uh, something I noticed while I was waiting to be scanned uh, at the, you know, for the shipped prepaid, and uh, I heard a, another customer who was in line at the courtesy desk say that uh, she left a bag of chips behind. So, oh, okay, so everyone started looking around. Anybody turned in a bag of chips? And she said, we have the receipt. And the, the shopper says, no, I don't. I had to give it to the customer. So my ears perked right up at that point. So I'm looking, and then I watch some interaction, and she says, yeah, I'm with Uber Eats. So I politely chimed in, and I said, you don't give receipts to customers if you're doing Uber Eats or any of the other shopping apps because the customers get their own receipts by email. And this is one of the reasons why you hold on to the receipts just in case something like this happens or if you have to do a return on something or whatever. And she says, yeah, but I have to take a picture of the receipt and that goes to the customer. I said, no, no, that doesn't either. I said, you take a picture of the receipt so it can go to Uber so they can overcharge the customer. <laughs> I mean, really, that's what these apps do. Almost all of them, they just mark up the, the shelf prices, and which is why they don't want you giving the receipts to the customer. That's actually one of the, the reasons. And, of course, the old long story with Instacart is the fraud, the rampant fraud that still seems to happen on Instacart where uh, you give the customers the receipt, they claim the, the orders were not delivered, and then they get a refund from Instacart, and then they go return the items to the store with the receipt and get a refund on that. So it's a good little scam, one of the reasons why the apps do not want you giving customers the paper receipts. And so uh, I just explained that to her. I just said that's the same with all the apps. So I'm sorry to break that to you, but... So I went ahead, bagged my stuff on the way out. There she is waiting in line to pay for a bag of chips. So um, hopefully she learned a lesson. Now, this is interesting because Uber, I do a few shop and pays on Uber, and I don't recall them ever saying, don't give the customer the receipt. Um, they just kind of say nothing, really. DoorDash tells you throw the receipt away. Instacart tells you to keep the receipt for a few days, or sometimes they tell you to keep it for 14 days. So anyway, uh, correct me if I'm wrong on any of that, but I just don't think Uber says keep the receipt for any reason, unless they're the ones that say keep it for a few days. Actually, that, that, that could also be the case. I just don't remember. But for, for the purposes of this discussion, do not give the customers the paper receipts, period. Hold on to them, throw them away, whatever the apps tell you to do. Um, that's it. I hope that saves you some time and money and trouble at checkout, of course, so you can go on your way and get more orders. I'm Brian with Bulldog Delivers. Until next time, go get them.